So at the Adobe event, the main demo was demonstrating to people what Firefly can accomplish with AI prompts, and I thought I'd take it a step further. So I let people describe that the image they wanted to create, dinosaurs playing on a playground with fluffy hats, for example, and I would generate that, <laughs> for example. <laughs> and then once this would come up, some of you might know a special little feature that is now available in Apple Photos that we will use to take these to the next level. So any of these that I like or the user likes, I would save. And by the way, I'd be mirroring all this to my phone because the Apple Vision Pro makes it super easy to share what you see in the headset. And then once those are all saved, then I can go and bring Apple Photos over and I can click on any of these. And then in the upper left, I can convert this AI generated 2D image into something 3D. And most of these actually look quite amazing. <laughs> we even get uh, a very good depth of field here. So a little hard to tell that it's 3D, but it is. And so I'll just generate a couple more. And it's pretty remarkable. Like even all the teeth in here actually look very, very good. The fluffy hair, excellent. Uh, let's look at some of the other ones that the folks at the event generated. Chocolate chip cookie, planet with aliens, amazing. Uh, cats <laughs> up in space, of course. Um, this was supposed to be like a, a pa panna cotta kind of thing, but um, it still looks incredibly delicious. This is like very good food photography for something that does, doesn't actually exist. Using the bokeh effect as well as... Um, Asking for something photorealistic really does create some pretty stunning images. Um, one thing we noticed about Firefly is that it doesn't know any IP. The fingers are a little bit funky here. Um, so if you wanted to generate like Spider-Man was the example they used, it wouldn't actually give you Spider-Man. It would give you a man that looks like a spider. So it doesn't know about anything that's going to create, you know, various copyright issues. A couple more. And uh, yeah, you know, I think there's still a, a very valid ongoing debate about the ethics of using tools like this. Um, by the way, this is just the actual uh, event. So I was right up there in the front row, so got some good recordings of the discussion. But, um, you know, as long as these tools are available, they are tools. And I think it's worthwhile for us to have a sense of what they're capable of, especially if we're just playing around with them and not using them in a commercial setting. And of course, nothing that I've generated here will be used in a commercial setting. Just educational, sharing some fun stuff with you guys. One feature I like is the ability in Adobe Firefly to go ahead and create um, things like a layered paper effect. That's quite fun. And then it just feels like you've got this really cool little paper model. Anyway, that's it for now. Hope you enjoy. Goodbye.